listening to the true voice of the Spirit. Then Zedekiah son of Kenanah went up, and slapped Micah in the face. Which way did the Spirit from the Lord go when he went from me to speak to you, he asked. 1 Kings chapter 20 to verse 24. People often open their hearts and ears to what they want to hear but close them tightly to what they don't want to hear. King Ahab of Israel, who led the nation into idol worship, had about 400 prophets who always said, You are right, your majesty. These prophets were not approved by God but by the king and the people. In such times, a prophet named Micah spoke the truth to King Ahab, even though it meant facing persecution and imprisonment. One of Ahab's prophets, Zedekiah, slapped Micah and angrily asked, I have God's spirit in me, so what spirit is in you? In the same way, if Christians today listen only to what they want to hear and ignore the truth for too long, they might end up mistaking lies for truth. We need prophets of God, not just, my prophets. We need to listen to the voices that guide us on God's path, not just the path we want to take. Let us pray that today, we can live with a true faith, that listens to these real messages. Dear Lord, please give us ears to hear so that we can be guided by your true truth. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.